Howdy again, it's Tubal Kane. I'm going to show you another device that can be used on the Bridgeport milling machine. Uh, and this is an item that I borrowed from my brother Jan in Cody, Wyoming. These are really expensive. I think they're at least $150. But this is called uh, an SPI. That's the name of the company. I think most of you heard, have heard of that. And uh, they make precision tools. And uh, this is... Uh, a spindle square and there's several uses for it but I'm going to show you how to use it on the bridge port to square up the head or tram the head if you will now I have shown that in another video and I'm uh, going to show you another way of doing it this comes in a nice fitted case and it's really delicate and precision first of all we're going to calibrate it now I think it's okay now but we're going to calibrate it uh, to make sure that it's on zero and then we'll go ahead and install it in the bridge port and make a reading to see how far off my head is. This is a small granite surface plate. It's about two inches thick and we know this to be a very true surface. Uh, it has been calibrated at a factory and it's been ground and everything. We know this is a flat surface. Now you might be able to do this on a, a milling machine table or a drill press table or a, but not on the workbench but a, a surface you know to be true. So to start with wipe this off very thoroughly with a rag and then I always like to use my hand and you can feel any grit. And wipe off the bottom of the, the square and set it down on the surface plate and I'm moving it back and forth just a little bit to make sure that it's not setting on any dust or anything and then examine both uh, indicators to see that they're on zero if one is off all you gotta do is uh, rotate it a little bit to bring it back onto zero but that's the first step in using this now this is a half inch shaft or shank on here and that will fit in a half inch collet and I'm gonna go ahead and install that on the bridge port right now I'm over on the Bridgeport mill and I've got the uh, device in the collet, half inch collet, and I have taken the vise off the milling machine and I wiped the table. Now if you got any burrs or nicks in there, uh, double check them, make sure that you're not going to be running into a, a bad spot on the table because all of these tables got some damage to them. And if, if there's a little damage, move one way or the other so you avoid that. And uh, I'm down close to the table, but I'm not touching the table yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the crank and raise the table. And I'm not sure if the uh, hands on the indicators are going to show, but I'm slowly raising the table until it touches. And watch the needles on the two of them start to approach zero. Okay, this one is on zero, and this one is about two or three thousands from zero so we uh, the, the head is out of alignment not very much it's uh, about three thousands in a distance of uh, about four inches uh, distance between uh, one indicator and the other so that isn't very much but we're going to go ahead and correct it and then we'll also check the alignment in the other axis that is uh, we'll turn the indicators at 90 degrees to what they are uh, right now. Now whatever you do, do not turn the machine on. This is a test that is made with the motor off. Uh, if in doubt, unplug the machine so you don't hurt yourself or certainly you're going to ruin uh, this device if you would turn the machine on. Do not do this under power. Let's watch this again now. I'm going to raise the table up again. This is a repeat of what I just did. And as I do that, watch the needles on the indicators. See how one moves up and then the other? And I have stopped it when I'm on uh, the zero right here. We're a few thousandths off here. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to uh, unlock these four bolts on the front and I'm going to uh, move the, uh, the head just a little bit. I'm going to rotate it ever so slightly. I'm All I'm going to do is... Uh, tap the motor up there with the palm of my hand and try to get it into alignment I probably won't show that on camera now in order to bring the head into alignment 
I loosened these four nuts, one, two, three, four, and I just loosened them slightly. And then I took my mallet and I tapped on the motor ever so lightly, and that swung the head just a little bit until I split the difference on these uh, two indicators, and then I zeroed one out, I brought it back up, and they both zeroed. Now that whole thing could have been done if I wasn't explaining this in a matter of uh, one or two minutes. So this really was a simple operation and it's a wonderful little device. I'm not sure if you can see the, uh, the indicators but they're both on zero. I'm using a new camera and I'm zooming in I'm hoping that this works. Now I'm going to tram the head in this other direction. Tilt it. It's tilted ever so slightly this way, but it's tilted quite a bit more than it was in the other direction. And I've got this at 90 degrees to what it was. And even though we're on zero here, those little protractors aren't very accurate at all, and that's why we're using uh, this new device. So even though it says zero, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to loosen one, two, three, bolts with the three-quarter wrench. Again, just back them off ever so slightly and then putting my uh, wrench over here, I'm not sure if that's showing up, I can, that's also three-quarter, I can tilt the head one way or the other until, and I'm going to split the difference between the readings on these two indicators. You can see they're quite far off. I just raised the table there hoping that you could see the indicators. Okay, I've already made the adjustment off camera. Now watch the indicators as I raise the table and they both come to zero at the same time. Then I will go back and tighten the three knots again and double check it make sure nothing has moved. And I did the same thing on the other side. Always double check it after you tighten the bolts just in case there was some movement. I hope this has helped you. Uh, this is actually the first time I used this device for my brother Jan and uh, uh, it, it sure made the job easier compared to sweeping it as I showed in one of my other videos. Now if you don't have one of these devices be sure and look at my other videos tramming with a regular indicator but this thing is uh, about the best thing since sliced bread this is Tubal Cain saying so long for now